and you can see there's uh, the UV light in there. It's doing some stuff. Oh, you can already see steam being generated. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of shocked about that. Howdy, YouTube. Welcome to RV Daydream. We're going to touch on something that a lot of you uh, that might be full-time RVing or thinking about full-time RVing uh, may not realize what a benefit it is. Uh, so we have another product review. Let's get into it. Let's try to keep this short. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. We've been full-time RVing now for a couple of years. When we first started off, we were in a travel trailer for you guys that aren't subscribers to us. And one of the things that we were comforted by was almost all these RV parks have their own laundry. Now, Heidi does all the laundry. I'm not a laundry guy. First of all, I'm colorblind, so I don't think she wants me washing clothes. <laughs> we have a bunch of uh, pink socks and weird <laughs> stuff like that. So whenever we hit the road, we did use and utilize a lot of the park's um, uh, laundry services. But what we found out, there's a bunch of stuff that goes on there that just makes it difficult. Uh, number one, uh, a lot of the parks have their own card system. Uh, that you have to like buy a card uh, even though it might be the same company that offers the card the card machines don't interchange so if you're at one park for a couple of weeks and you have to buy a card you might actually have some money left out on it and then you go to the next park and you can't use it there but it's the same company and you have to buy another card and sometimes there's a purchase price you know that you gotta start off with just to even have the card you got this machine right and basically with the machine you're going to uh, put your debit card in there I'm sorry your credit card whatever and it's going to spit out that card that she has in her hand right now and you gotta pay for the card once you have that card then you load it uh, by putting it in the machine again and putting the dollar amount that you want on there so it's kinda it's kinda goofy that they you got a one-time I don't know if we're ever going to run across these machines again, but who knows? Probably, yeah, probably never. Uh, sometimes those things don't work. Uh, sometimes, and this is more than sometimes, the machines aren't necessarily the best. The laundry is right here. Oh, that's great. That's out of order, and I got two loads of laundry. How super. The magnets are left on this, I can't do that. Uh, not barely enough water in there. Oh well. So here I am, and over an hour later, and look what we got here. I'm trying to get these towels dry because there's one dryer that is working out of two. So these were in here in the dryer for over 40 minutes, and they're still not dry. Um, and hour and a half two hours it's over two hours yeah two hours <laughs> later she came back with still damp towels um the dryers just weren't that good the other thing that we're running into uh, at a lot of the parks let me rephrase that not a lot of the parks but probably half of the parks is pet stuff uh, people wash their pets blankets their pets pillows their own clothes with all their own pet fur and everything on it in the same washers that we're using so you don't know what you're getting whenever we moved into this fifth wheel one of the options was a washer and a dryer we've never really thought about it tell you the truth and we didn't know what that was going to be like let me tell you I'm going to refer to the person that does all the laundry and ask her what she thinks about us having a washer and dryer in the fifth wheel it's the best thing it is probably the number one best thing to have if you're full-time which we didn't we didn't know that right we just didn't know that so here's the deal when we first started off we had bought this real inexpensive it looked like heavy-duty blender and basically you put your clothes in there with the water and the soap and you turn it on and it would agitate the clothes I did a fine job it was very inexpensive I think we bought it for like $15 it was brand new in the box and I think they sell for like $40 and there's a lot of them that you can buy on uh, Amazon that have like a spinner in it and stuff like that and um, but if you want a washer and dryer without using all the space that we have you know being utilized inside the front of the RV with ours 
there are options and you can buy a smaller washer but I found what I believe is one of the best dryers that I've seen and this is by the numbers everything that I'm seeing that they're offering on their website and what they're talking about I think this dryer might be something that even people with smaller travel trailers that have limited space you might want to think about now with that said you guys are already seeing oh he's got a sales pitch going on yeah I, I didn't tell him I was gonna do a great review nothing they just wanted me to review the product and cover what it does and give my thoughts about it this unit was sent to us at no charge do we need this unit no we have a washer and dryer if this dryer operates and dries the amount of clothes that the dryer that we currently have and if we get into another unit we might actually think about getting back some of our space out of the front of the RV and going to a smaller dryer and just doing multiple loads instead of having a bigger one so uh, let's go in and first show you what our setup is in the RV and then what your option is going to this now on purpose Heidi is doing a load of clothes in here um, this is about three outfits you know our daily outfits just normal clothes that we wear um, she's doing the wash uh, to get and, and we're going to try out that dryer basically but you can see the amount of space that these take up uh, you've got you know all that side of our storage taken up with a, a, a heavy washer and then this side with a dryer and I'm going to tell you that these options that you add of a washer and dryer um, they add weight to your unit now you're towing you know this heavy stuff now again we are extremely happy with our washer and dryer setup that we currently have all except for how heavy they are and the amount of space that they take up very large box um, we're going to get the size of the unit we're going to compare it to some stuff so Heidi's pointing out that we so far haven't even followed the directions that we have to open both the top and the bottom and then push the unit out we're going to go ahead and follow these instructions and take this thing out and show it to you you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like very futuristic and I want you to point out real quick vacuum technology this is what the science is that I'm talking about so we went ahead and pulled it out it's in the area that we wanted the stage kind of show you what it looks like to give you a uh, comparison in size you can see basically our double sink and this is a seven gallon water tote so it is definitely taller than a seven gallon water tote again the dimensions I'll have posted in the video just kind of take a look at that you need to get out a tape measure and I want you to measure wherever you think you might put it in our case in the fifth wheel we have a lot of places it can go now here's the thing this is portable you don't have to leave it out if you have a place to store it like in our case we would put it in our closet even though we have a relatively large size in comparison to the stainless steel drum that's inside you don't have all that box that's surrounding it um, it has intelligent design that has real simple features on top and it takes 500 samples a minute during the cycle to make decisions on what it needs to do as far as heat speed all that stuff so this is a right side swing out to the left open only uh, I don't see anywhere that says anything about you being able to switch that. Um, it has a nice soft rubber seal all the way around. That's for the vacuum. I'm telling you, that's the coolest part of this. And then you have this box here, uh, which we'll open up and see what the contents are. But I want to show you inside the drum. This has a neodymium magnet motor that runs a vacuum pump that's inside here and creates a vacuum inside that coupled with what they say is 43 mile per hour wind drying and they say you can dry clothes 60 percent faster based on that science it's crazy if it's even close to being true I think it's the most awesome thing ever I'm assuming this is some sort of a reservoir for water uh, for the moisture to be extracted out of there all right so inside the box you got your quick start guide which I'll have Heidi read even though I'm a guy I don't normally read the instructions but I know I should here um, this is the the drying rack for shoes so this is the drying rack I'm sure that there's some sort of a setting to make sure that the uh, the unit doesn't spin um, 
you know, and hit the rack. And I'm sure that's part of the uh, functions up here. But we do have a quick start guide. Uh, go ahead and follow through the quick start guide. Get yourself set up. They're going to talk about dimensions. Everything's in centimeters. Uh, so you guys that are watching this from another country, um, that's nice to know. Uh, they are telling you that there is some dimensions you got to be concerned with. Uh, you have to keep so much space, in this case 15 centimeters, from the back. And it says 50 for the front. I'm sure that has to do a lot to do with the door. And then side to side, 10 each and 50 on top. So basically, if you're going to put this in some sort of a cabinet, they don't want this thing enclosed tight up against it. Although the lighting over here is not as good as where we were, you'll still get the general gist of things. Again, there's a master switch underneath here. You just turn that on. So now you can see the display a little bit easier, especially for Heidi. Um, Heidi's shorter. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and see what this thing looks like. Um, smart, quick, shirt, silk, warm, refresh, shoe, and sanitize. Shoe and sanitize. Boy, I was trying to say them both at the same time. UV lights, heat, and vacuum to disinfect. So you can see, look at this. It's got a nice little LED light in there. Isn't that very nice? That, that is slick. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to throw in some clothes. You can see there's a, a maximum line here. And then we're going to give you our thoughts and see how fast this will dry things. But again, I want you to get a good idea of the size. Even our travel trailer, we could have kept it in the pass-through storage area. And then got it out and used it. And here's the best part. You could use this outdoors as long as it's not getting wet, as long as it's not being exposed to a lot of moisture, humidity, because uh, it is electrical components that are in here. This would allow you to use it outside and you know generate the heat outside you don't have to have it being introduced inside your RV and we're waiting for our clothes to be spun out of our washer uh, I don't know if you can hear that in the background uh, so we can throw these in here so let me go ahead and give you some specs on this so thing. looking at the specifications again in millimeters there's a lot of sizes that they're throwing out here they're saying that it's 489 millimeters tall 40 415 millimeters wide 528 millimeters deep okay what's that mean to us here in the US uh, 16.3 inches, just over 16 inches wide, 19.3 inches in height, and the biggest dimension by far, 20.8 inches. Now remember, you do have to give a buffer uh, behind a top and side of that, so you're going to have to have a little bit more space. Uh, just make sure that it's ventilated. But if you throw it up on your counter, I mean, it's going to be pretty clear. Um, now here's the thing a lot of people are going to ask about, and I was very curious about, and that's the power. The power on this is 1100 to 1200 watts. Um, that's a decent amount. That's a decent amount of power that you're going to draw. Um, of course, it is a front load tumble. Uh, they do have one year warranty on this. The colors, again, you can either get chalk white or lava gray. Heidi says that the, the gray color appears to be more charcoal. Um, the capacity of what you can put inside there, 3.3 pounds. And as far as the weight of the unit itself, empty this unit weighs 28.7 pounds let's just say 29 pounds the fact that it has that built-in UV sterilization it says it will eliminate 99.99 percent of bacteria and mites uh, talks about allergens and um, they also say that uh, with this vacuum technology that the drying is actually better um, it does have a magnetic lint filter uh, in it which will show you that Again, going back to what I was saying about the uh, stainless steel tub, uh, protects clothes from snags. And then, of course, it has a child lock for the dryer, uh, if you are concerned about that. So inside here, in the back, you can just see it's a magnetic. Nice. I mean, that's easy to clean. And it's got some beeping going on saying, hey, there's something missing. But it's magnetic. The door's open. Oh, it says closed door. <laughs> because I have it on. Okay, so here comes the laundry monger. <laughs> and yeah, we have our basically our, our wear clothes. So well, we'll have to watch the line too. Yeah, we'll see where the line is when we put the clothes. Oh no, yeah. that's about right. That's just about the right height. It's Again, the, the lighting on this is kind of tough. Yeah, three outfits. These are three outfits. And we're right at the line. Uh, it's about three pounds. We got it on smart mode and Heidi says it's just the short press of the power button for either starting it or pausing it. So let's go ahead and hit this. Ooh.
There's a reason that I'm using our action camera without our uh, lavalier mics, and that's because I want you guys to be able to hear the sound that it's making. So, let's say this is as loud as a box fan. That's about right. It's not annoying, but it does make some noise. And you can see there's uh, the UV light in there. It's doing some stuff. Oh, you can already see steam being generated. I'm, I'm kind of shocked about that. Holy cow, look at that. Uh, that is a lot quicker than I thought. You see this frosted glass, the reason that it's frosted is because it's already drying, it's removing moisture. Wow. So it's saying that we have about 14 minutes left for the cycle. Uh, so we'll go ahead and use that as the count. Uh, in the meantime, we'll you look at our watch, 1255. So we'll go ahead and let this dry and see what it comes out to be, but I, I think this is really cool. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little bit more insight to this uh, whole setup. And we have two rooftop AC units running, a 15,000 BTU air conditioner, and of course a 13,500 BTU air conditioner. Uh, both of them are on high cool because uh, we had the air conditioners off so we could shoot this video, so I had to turn them back on. And yet you can see the amperage that we're drawing uh, now that they're running. We've got one pulling 21.8 on one leg, and the other one's 10.6 on the other. So we've got a total of about 30 amps that's being drawn. Now we do have, of course, our refrigerator on. Uh, looks like the stereo's on. All these lights here are running off of our battery and our solar panels because we do not have our charge controller on. That's another experiment I've been doing. But yeah, this is uh, pretty reasonable. It's not, it, this isn't, you know, out of pocket as far as using way too much energy. So that's not bad. I'm, I'm ha pretty happy with that. The button here is for you to adjust the modes from Smart Quick, Shirt, Silk, Warm, uh, Refresh, Shoe, and Sanitize. So you have those eight options, but you will push the button here to change those options. Also, you can add time or take away time. If you push this, these two plus and minus button at the same time, it is for childproof lock because it will be hot inside. So well, even on the outside, it's yeah, a touch. it's warm. It's yeah. warm, but not hot, not to burn a child. Yeah. And then, like I had already said, That's the yeah, this is the the start, start it and deposit, uh, uh, and of course to turn it off. And there is a master switch in the back to turn it off that way. It says all done. Uh, we are currently at 144, so that initial time that it gave uh, wasn't necessarily accurate for it to go through its full cycle, but it did recognize that it needed to go longer uh, for the clothes to be fully dry. As far as we know, we're going to test that out right now. So we went ahead and turned off the air so you guys can hear us. Uh, so again, it says all done. Heidi's going to give her little feel test Ooh. here. Well, that looks dry. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely dry. Is it warm? Yeah. Just, it's not hot, hot, but. So there's a little audible beep that tells you. Tells me to close the door. <clears throat> yeah, it's just close door. So that's nice. We have that on our refrigerator and we've used that more than once. Here, under roofs. <clears throat> under roofs. Heidi wears those Fruit of Loom briefs, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, the shirt's a little on the wrinkled side. Yeah. I think but, it got wadded up in some other clothes. Yeah. That is the smallest, lightest shirt that was in there. Yeah. So there's something. Yeah. Your pants, I don't know. They're these are some weird. Wrinkled. Yeah, these are some like spandex. Yeah. Oh my God, they are warm. Yeah, they are. They're, they're like coming out of a dryer. completely dry. So 100% dry. Yeah. See our uh, underoos there. Well, that's good. And we only have that one shirt that's kind of wrinkled. I'm sure if we hang it up, or maybe if we put yeah. it in here and do some sort of a tumble, that might work. But, yeah, the amount of time was slightly more than we thought. This is a two thumbs up for sure. I will say if at all possible is to use this outside because it does really heat up the RV. Um, Which in the winter's fine. Yeah, in the winter would be super. 
like today is I believe like 86 so it's pretty warm outside and then we didn't have the air running um, yeah we don't most want of the time yeah we don't want the air generating noise so, so you guys yeah. would think that's what was you know as now even when we're talking the air conditioners in the bedrooms running and I'm sure you can hear it but, but um, it does warm up the area so what type of person would buy this I, okay first of all weekend warrior no no. no. If you're just um, going out for a couple weeks, don't worry about it. Um, if some, you have a small washer, this would be perfect for that. But it would be for somebody that has a need that's on the road to go to the laundry. Yeah. Well, like I said earlier, um, a massage therapist, um, a hairdresser, because um, this has the warming of the towels right but as far as the rv industry and the people that we are exposed to as far as travel um i would say just a couple yeah uh, full for, full timers a cup i don't know kids with you know, there's still people that use cloth diapers oh well yeah i mean it, yeah. you know they're into that environment right. thing reusable and it doesn't pull a ton of amps it wasn't bad uh yeah. i think that as far as what's out there i like the way this one looks I like that whole idea that there's a vacuum in there to make it to where it dries a little bit faster based on that technology. That's that's some that's some good thinking there. Um, it's a good form function. It looks nice. It's not ugly. Here's the thing: a lot of these parks that we go to, uh, you can't hang your clothes out on a line. Thousand Trails and uh, Encore Parks. There's a lot of them that have rules that it says they don't want clotheslines out there. Uh, some of them don't even, some of the parks that we've been in, they don't even want you to hang your clothes on like your awning arms. Yeah. Um, people still do it, but they're trying to get it to where it's not distracting from the beauty of the park. As far as our recommendations, yeah. Um, nice unit, good company. Uh, as far as longevity, like I've said before, you know, these units, I can make them break. We can overload them, we can put stuff in too wet, we can use it outside, we can get it wet outside uh, as far as exposed to moisture. So longevity, it's so subjective. Uh, so you gotta find a company that's got good customer service and as far as the quality, I mean, it feels really nice. Everything's good fit and finish and it looks beautiful. So again, link's in the description, check out that link. Um, it'll take you to their website and uh, yeah, uh, I, again, it's up to you. Our thoughts are, if we were to have gone full-time in our travel trailer, knowing about this and realizing what a pain in the butt the laundromat was for us, uh, we probably would have jumped into this a lot sooner. So, again, in our case, we have a washer and dryer, but, yeah, look into it. Morris, appreciate it, guys. As always, we hope to see you out here. Bye. Bye.